If you're wondering how you can do some great hamstring exercises without any fitness equipment at all, then pull up a chair and use the chair because in this video, I'm gonna show you two great hamstring exercises that you can do right at home using only a chair. So let's get to it. Hey everyone, welcome to another video. All right, we're gonna get right to it here. I'm gonna show you two great exercises with three variations in difficulty for each of those two exercises so that by the time this video is done, you're gonna have six different ways to really challenge your hamstrings. So we're gonna dive into it right now. All right, so you've got the chair and that's all you're gonna need. So it's not a specialized piece of fitness equipment, but it doesn't have to be. Everyone's pretty much got a chair at home. That's all you need. You can also use the edge of a bed or kind of a couch or anything like that. Just get creative, find what works best for you. So now of the exercises we're gonna do here, I've got two that I'm gonna show you. We're gonna start with the easy one and then we're gonna do the more challenging one after that. But for each of these two exercises that we're doing, I have three different levels of intensity for each one. So ultimately we're walking away with six different challenges for the hamstrings over two different exercises. So we're gonna start with the easy one here. What you're gonna do, feet up on the chair. Your legs are gonna be fairly straight. You're just gonna be looking straight up. You can relax your head if you want. Arms down by your side, squeeze your bum, drive your hips up in the air. There's gonna be some glutes working, but you're gonna feel a lot of the hamstrings, the big muscles on the back of the thigh having to work. And then from there you come down. So that's level one of the easy progression. Level two of the easy progression would be you are going to go up on two legs, but then you're gonna lift one leg up and just come down on one rather slowly. And you're gonna feel that this is a pretty big step up from that kind of easier version. You're gonna feel a lot of that hamstring in through there have to work. Now, if you want level three, so level two, again, we're going up on two, down on one. Now for level three, you're just gonna go up on one and down on one. That's all you do. That's a pretty big challenge there. The slower you come down each time, the more challenging it's gonna be. Now, that's it for the kind of easier version, those three different progressions or three different levels. The other one that we're gonna do, it's a bit more challenging. This one's really, really good because it's gonna still target the whole hamstring, but it's really gonna focus on that kind of second half, what we call the distal portion of the hamstrings. And that's because hamstring, it's a two joint muscle, so it crosses the hip and it crosses the knee. And so in order for the knees to stay in the position that we're gonna do here for this exercise, the hamstrings have to contract rather aggressively around the knees. So this is a great one to do for what we call like a prophylactic approach for injury. Prophylactic just means um, preventative. So now we are gonna go 90 degrees bent to the knees, same starting position on the back. And then from here, you are just gonna push your hips up in the air, high as you can, higher you go, the better. Come down just like that. That's level one or progression one for this exercise. And then again, the next progression up or the next step up, we're gonna go up on two, we're gonna come down on one. And you can get all of your repetitions on one leg first uh, before switching to the other side, or you can alternate, totally up to you. So level two, we got up on two, down on one. And then of course, if you wanna kick it up even more, this is gonna get really aggressive, but it's gonna be up on one, down on one. And you just do this for however many repetitions you want, however many sets you want. And then when you've kind of feel that you've done all the repetitions on one side, if you're doing all on one side before you switch, then you just switch whenever you need to. Or again, you can alternate. And I'm already feeling my hamstrings light up quite a bit. So that's all you really need to start challenging the hamstrings at home. There's all sorts of other amazing pieces of equipment that can help with training hamstrings and getting them stronger. But if you're at home and you just need something simple and straightforward, this is likely the ticket. So there you go, using only a chair, it's really cool how we can really light up our hamstrings and really modulate the intensity and the demand based on what we need. So take these variations and these exercises, tinker around with them, find out what works best for you. Now, if you found this video helpful or informative or useful in any sort of way, please consider hitting that like button, that would mean a lot to me. And if you have your own other favorite variations for hamstring exercises that you do at home without equipment, I wanna hear about what they are, so leave them in the comment section below. So everyone, keep taking care of yourselves, keep looking after one another, keep making great things happen, and I will see you in the next video.